Hello friends, welcome back to the study on the miracles. This evening we shall focus on the second coming of Jesus Christ. Let the trumpets be lifted up and let the trumpets proclaim that Jesus is coming again. Lift up the trumpets. Lift up the trumpet and loud let it ring. Jesus is coming again. Cheer up ye pilgrims, be joyful and sing. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. Echo it, hilltops proclaim it, ye plains. Jesus is coming again, coming in glory, the Lamb that was slain. Jesus is coming again, coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. Sound it all, ocean, its mighty wave. Jesus is coming again. Break on the sands of the shores that ye leave. Jesus is coming again. Coming again. Coming again. Jesus is coming again. He wings of earth till the vast falling throng. Jesus is coming again. Tempest and whirlwinds the anthem proclaim. Jesus is coming again. Coming again. Coming again. Jesus is coming again. Nations are angry by this we do know. Jesus is coming again. Knowledge increases, men run to and fro. Jesus is coming again. Coming again, coming again. Jesus is coming again. As the angels lift up the trumpet and pronounce the coming of Jesus Christ, what a great, what a wonderful day it will be that Jesus is coming again. That is the promise we have in our lives. That is the promise we have in the scriptures. In the second epistle of Paul, the apostle to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, Paul speaks, Paul gives the assurance of the coming of Jesus Christ. Paul, in fact, he is the angel announcing the coming of Jesus Christ and he is giving the testimony of the promises that Christ gave to his disciples when he was alive amidst the disciples. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verses 7 to 12 and to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. In flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. And that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. And from the glory of his power when he shall come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. Because our testimony among you 
was believed in that day. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the promise and this is the assurance we have. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 24, Jesus Christ sitting amidst the disciples and there's a continuous and a long dialogue between the disciples and the Lord Jesus Christ on the Mount of Olives. In chapter 24, verses, if you see verses 40 to 41, then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. That would be the day of his coming. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom the Lord hath made ruler over his household, to, go, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find him doing so. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Let us be the good servant to be made the ruler on everything, on all his goods. Let us be the wise servants. Let us be the one who is working in the field being taken up into his bosom. If the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. We know not the day, what hour your Lord doth come. Hence, dear friends, let us be ready to be, to be taken up, to be lifted up and to be taken into his bosom as his chosen elect, as the heirs of our God, Father, as Jesus Christ himself identifies with us. Let us look unto God in prayer. Heavenly loving Father, we come to thy feet this evening time meditating upon your coming onto the earth, coming with from the heavens, coming on the clouds, coming with the angels. And when we hear the angels trumpeting your second coming, when we see you, Lord, you have given us rest. You have given rest to our troubled souls, O oh God. When you are revealed from heaven with your mighty angels, you shall give us our troubled souls. You shall give us rest. Father, you are coming in flaming fire, taking vengeance, Father. Jesus, you are coming. When you come, you shall be glorified among the saints and you shall be admired among all the saints and among all the believers because we believe in your testimony. We believe that you are coming again to give us comfort that's everlasting, to bless us with everlasting life. God, give us, count us worthy of your calling. Give us strength that we shall be counted 
worthy of your calling. Dear God, in the name of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Holy Spirit, fulfill all the good pleasure of your goodness, O God, and fulfill the work of faith with the power. May the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be glorified, Father. May your name be, may the name of our Lord Jesus Christ be glorified in us as we live and in us as we rise up unto your balsam when you come again. According to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ, bless us, O God. Take us, lift us up, take away all our troubles and give us rest. And Father, count us worthy of your calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of your goodness and fulfill the work of faith with the power. Our hope, dear God, shall not be put to shame. Your children shall not be suffering all the life. You are going to give them rest. You are going to give us troubled souls rest, O oh God. You are fulfilling all the good pleasure of your goodness, O oh God. Fulfill all the pleasure of your goodness towards us. And fulfill the work of our faith. Fulfill uh, the work of faith with the power. In Jesus' precious name we ask. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone. See you again.